old carbon comp resistor. Here's the programmable generator sitting next to my latest edition. You can see it's quite a bit smaller, it's shorter, it's not as deep. The reason for this generator being so much smaller is it's not programmable. It does have a pot on the front that serves as the on off switch. It also allows you to set the amount of energy that you want. The two banana connectors on the front, these provide a 100x monitor of the capacitor bank. On the back we have two bus bars, these provide the output. And there's two banana jacks down here, these are the power input. So this doesn't have its own internal AC power supply like this unit does. It has no way to superimpose an actual AC cycle. So there's quite a few features that are included in this generator that this doesn't have. Where this unit is very programmable, uh, it's pretty feature rich in what it can do. This unit, not so much. This generator serves one purpose and that's to simulate a partial AC line cycle. Alright, so the new generator is all set up. You can see here the programmable generator and the new generator sitting here on top of it. And up on top of that is the new Bryman meter. We're going to be using this to monitor the charge of this generator. Again, the output of this, this is 100x feeds. So one volt out here would be equate to about 100 volts on the charge bank. It's nice because uh, I had been using my attenuator. It's nice I've got all that built into this box, so you don't need any of that. The light here tells you that the power is on. And again, this rotating this actually turns the power on and off and also sets the energy level. Yeah, for all these tests, we're just going to run this transient generator full tilt. If it'll split a light bulb, I thought, well, let's just see what else that we can do with it. So the first meter we're going to run is one of the ones that 5KY donated. This is a Unity UT61D. You may recall that all the Unities I've tested have failed early on in the tests. These were damaged by uh, ESD events, so yeah, it's, it's very little damage. I've bolted these meters all back together. Uh, you can see here the cracks in the plastic. I can't do anything about that. But what we're looking for here is let's just see what kind of additional damage hitting it with this new generator will do. We'll just go ahead and give it a single transient. It's charging. Wow. Let's, uh, let's take this thing apart and we'll have a look and see what's happened to it. Yeah. I don't know if you can see this, but up in this area here, hopefully it shows up in the camera. Uh, we've definitely damaged the trace up here. You can see this is quite a bit discolored all the way through the PTC here. This is actually ruptured now. Yeah, let's, uh, let's finish taking it apart. Not too bad, really. Even that area of the switch, you can tell it heated up. It's got a little bit of discoloration in this area. It's all from after doing the drop test off of the roof of the house there. It's quite a bit of debris in it. Most of that's off this lens here. This is a model 3320, again donated by 5KY. We're just going to select the AC mode with this. Damn. Okay, so to be fair, again, this was dropped off of the roof of the house. But uh, you can just see here... <laughs> This thing uh, almost split the case in two. Let's just see what other damage is there. <laughs> you 
You can see the uh, foil and how that's uh, kind of blistered. It looks like it actually arced up onto the shield. So it went from the spring to this little conductive plate. And just look at this here. It's actually burned the plastic in this area here. I think it conducted right on through, right over to here. You can see it's uh, discolored the spring. Whew. Yeah. Boy, it really did a number in this area. Wow. Let's just uh, take this out the let's just take this out of the case. And we can see the discoloration up in this area. Whew. All the way through to here. Uh, again, that was an AC volts mode. Wasn't even in Ohm's mode. Yeah. Maybe a little difficult to tell here, but again, this trace going up to the selector switch, this whole area here is just vaporized. Matter of fact, uh, this down here is vaporized. It looks like this trace from here to the via, it looks like there used to be pad in this area. That's totally gone now as well. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. Here we have another meter at 5K wide donated. This is a Tech Power TP2844R. Again, this meter was dropped off the roof of the house and uh, fared quite well. You can see mechanically, it really doesn't have any issues. You know, everything is very solid still. But electrically, it failed during testing and it no longer worked. We'll go ahead and try this on the new generator and let's see what happens with it. Okay, the meter is set in AC volts mode. Wow. <laughs> Just never gets old. <laughs> so it had quite a strong odor to it when I took it off the generator, but other than that, there's no sign of damage. Looks like right down here, there's quite a bit of discoloration. Other than that, I really don't see a lot of problems with it. Let's uh, take it out of the case, we'll see. There's the noise source. Whew. Vaporized the trace along this entire length. There is nothing left of it. Huh. Well, I guess as you look at the damage on some of these meters, one thing you need to consider is this new transient generator I built doesn't simulate what happens in the real world. It's basically simulating a partial AC line cycle. So not even one AC line cycle is what I'm claiming. You know, if you're connected to an AC line, the amount of energy available to destroy a meter like this is going to be much, much higher. So if you watch these videos where people have lost their lives in an arc flash, that's why. I mean, that's a lot more energy than what we're dealing with here. When you see this amount of damage and you try to infer that this meter is safe, I wouldn't necessarily because 
you know we're not testing again to the level of standards that even IEC calls out so keep that in mind you know this is still kind of a pretty minimal test but it is interesting to see the additional damage that's happening with some of these meters